All right, so yeah, so let's cut so this piece. We have a, we have a mock-up here, mm -hmm. and we're going to do this, but we are going to have a textured and thermoformed, and we don't want to have any visible connection, so we reached out to 3M to help us come up with the best solution, and um, it's a remarkable material and technology. Building, building technology, so we're going to well, flip it over. David, the, the building downtown LA, is the Disney building? Yeah, Disney Council Hall. They use it, yeah. Yep. They have Was it on their building. But the exterior? No. Yes, but no, it actually panels on the exterior are held with wow. PHP. Mm -hmm. But not only that, what's more impressive is that he was explaining that at, at the O'Hare Chicago Airport, yeah. there are mirrors. Yeah, the United Terminal. All the mirrors that's in that terminal was bonded with PHP that's since incredible. 1987. So hold on, since 1987. 87. Yeah, so, so 30 years. And it's glass. on the ceiling. It's on, on the ceiling, yeah. No mechanical connection? Yeah. So, yeah. So anywhere you're going to use VHB to carry a load, is four square inches of tape per pound. So mm. that's the calculation yesterday. So four square inches of tape per pound. So four square inches of tape per panel is the way you determine the, yeah. the right amount of load and yeah. tape yeah. relationship. Okay. That's so incredible. These, yeah. So we're going to, these aren't the right size for this, but it's okay. Yeah. We can fudge it. If we put it right in the middle, we'll still have access to these tabs. And then we can actually, you know, um, mock it up and then, you know, Heat it up later too. So okay. That's more or less. So yeah. I'm just going to guess right here. Yes. So this is just a quick braid. So Once again, it's just more fluff, a way to clean. So he's cleaning mild abrasion yeah. with something that's like a buffing pad. Yeah, this hand pad, 747 hand, hand pad. Yeah. Nylon base. See that, yeah. see that resident? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're just going like this, right? Yeah. That's just good. that's going to be your area. Yeah, that's all you need. Okay. You don't need anything more. Yeah, you don't need sandpaper or anything more than that. Okay, and that's with, and now he's cleaning it with alcohol. Yeah, I suppose. 50 50. Yeah. And then the good thing about the IPA, it flashes off real fast. Yes. Yeah. So you can actually kind of see it here. So, so you want to go ahead and put this one on. So if you have fingernails, but we also sell a little wire brush. Um, mm. to get the liner off. From my experience, the hardest part is doing right that. Yeah. Right there, which is trying to find that little tab and peel it. Sometimes my fingernails just don't cut it. Go ahead and put that okay. on. Now, so, is that where that air, so I see an air bubble yeah, right so, there. So if you find a blade, yeah, find, find the knife. Let's just pop Do that out there. Do we have a there. knife on us somewhere? Yeah. yeah, the scissors is not sharp enough. We need a blade. Yeah. Okay, good. Now we've got a real world condition, which is, yeah. hey, we found a bubble. We've already peeled off the, uh, line. the yeah. liner, mm -hmm. and now we're going to get a blade to poke yeah. it. Yeah. So if you, what I'm thinking, Damien, is possibly you, you pulled it. The way, tape. Yes. Way the, yeah. the application again with this is the proper application, and not you don't want to pull it, but at the same time you want it to roll out yeah. as balanced as possible without getting any air bubbles. Because if, if you, you make it too lumpy, it will also get some air bubbles. A, or if you stretch it, yeah. that thing has a memory and it wants right. to go back. So when you stretched it. Before you have a chance to lay it back yeah. down, it's already right. retracted True. and you don't know where you, if you laid it down, you have trouble. Right. Because the last thing you want to do is leave this exposed right. because dust and everything. Mm. And it's right. a construction okay. site too. So. Exactly. So, yeah. so I right. see here, so we've like lined it up. Yeah. I see where it's clean. I'm going to yeah. take it and yeah. I'm going to just, you know, eyeball right like that and we're good. That's how quick the bonding yeah. can happen. The bonding so, can happen as soon as you apply the pressure perpendicular. So this step is also critical. You want to apply pressure. Go ahead, give it. Remember, you have to get the pressure to the bond line. Right. So you got to transmit it from here all the way down. Yeah, this is for the Granville mock-up. It's a mega project. And because we are um, on the cutting edge of construction and design, we want to do some practice, some research and um, before we actually do the 10,000 square feet of surface area on the outside. We have an incredible customer, incredible client, very open-minded, but ultimately, you know, safety is a priority, yeah. and that's the first and for foremost, most important quality, yeah. and then the additional, you know, support is, um, is very so, um, appreciated. So a couple of things. One, we want to have our lab test adhesion, right? So you have the best method. And the second thing is I want to get you in contact with it gentleman by the name of Steve Austin, like the wrestler. I know Steve. Okay. Right here, yeah. which is getting... I have, I have a, let me get that tool. <laughs> you know, in the back, in the and I've done this enough times, but even still, doesn't matter. It's still difficult. My pokey fingernails, can <laughs> peel this off. Now, inspect looking, for any bubbles. I'm looking for a little, though that one is the one that we already poked. I'm just yeah. gonna poke it. Mm -hmm. That was probably my application. I probably pulled on it too much. And then I'm looking where we put the abrasion. It's cleaned here. 
Uh, we got it. All right. I'm gonna go like gonna this here, this and we're gonna go into contact mode. Okay, we got contact. The next step is to apply the pressure. Apply the pressure. Can't and can't skip it. Lots of pressure. More the merrier. That's what they're telling me. Uh, you have immediate handling strength. It's not it's not 72 hours yet, but but you put the pressure on. But ideally, in a factory setting, if you're moving it, move it by the piece. Don't move right. it by the stiffener. Right. You know, just in case this thing is you know 100 pounds or whatever. Sure. I'm just feeling yeah. right here. Yeah. Now, just for an example. Yeah. This we put on. We put on how many inches of tape? Well, let's just say this is about um, about 12 inches right here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so that's 12. So that's 12 inches, 12 yeah. square inches, and we have 12 square inches. Mm -hmm. That's 24 square inches. 24. So that would equal how many pounds? Four square inches per pound. So so then I would take the 24 divide by four. I believe I get six. No, you would take 24 and multiply it by four, and that's how much weight it could hold. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so four we got. Um, so yeah, 80, 90, inches about 100 pound. pounds, right? Yeah, so, so we so could, yeah. with it, we put on enough tape here to hold 100 pounds where oh, this that's panel piece. Let's, let's do that math again. So it's mm -hmm. four square inches of tape per pound, right? Got it. Yeah. Four inches, okay, four inches, okay. And we here we have 24 inches. So it'll be, so it'll be um, 24 pounds, sorry. 24 pounds, yeah. Okay. 24 pounds, yeah. Okay, so it's. This is um, 96. So 24 pounds. Yeah. Where this panel right here is maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, six. I don't think it's quite 24. Pounds. It's close. Maybe yeah. it's around. It's mm -hmm. around ten, uh, about 18 pounds. Yeah. This right here. So mm -hmm. we've got more than enough. Yeah. In the real world application, we probably have another one. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. about every um, one, about every 18 inches, we'll be putting one of these. 